Welcome in Atlantic Broadband Cable in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors brings you once again the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight via tape delay we bring you boys high school basketball here at the Ringgold High School Gymnasium home of the Ringgold Rams. They'll be taking on the visiting Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Hello everyone this is Gary Frankhauser along with Jerry Dupay and we welcome you for tonight's basketball action. The South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring the township supervisors, Bob Schiff by Rick Vernon and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CUTV with Gary Smith. Once again, this is Gary Frankhauser. Jerry Dupay on the camera. We'll be right back with the starting lineups for both teams and pregame activities right after this. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Welcome back to Ringgold High School, where the Ringgold Rams will play host to the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Mustangs coming into tonight's contest, tied for second place with Trinity in Section 1-5A, 7-3 in conference, 15-5 overall. Here's your starters for the Mustangs, a familiar starting five that we've seen most of the year. Number one, Bryce Lasky. Number three, David Runco. Number 21, Will Dykert. Number 24, Hudson Novak, and number 30, Elijah Gwynn. Lasky, Runko, Dykert, 
Novak and Gwynn, your starters for the Mustangs, trying to stay on a roll in Section 1-5A. We'll be right back with your starters for Ringgold on the South Union Township Sports Network. Good luck to the Mustangs from the South Union Township Supervisors, Rick Vernon, Jason Scott, and Robert Schiffbauer. Here we go with your starters for the Ringgold Rams. Coming in four and six in conference, nine and 11 overall. Still with an outside shot at that last playoff position in section 15A. Just one game behind Thomas Jefferson in that fourth spot. Here's your starters. Freshman number three, Chris Pecon gets the start for Ringgold. Number 15, Ryan Varvley. Number 24, Anthony Pampina. Number 25, Jake Mayer. And number 34, Dakota Browning, underneath for the Ringgold Rams. Those are your starters, Pecan, Farvley, Pampina, Mayer, and Browning. And we'll be back with the continuation of pregame activities and the national anthem. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network. important for people to know that we represent injured people to the best of our ability and we've been successful doing that. And I don't say that to have people come to see us because we have been successful. I say that because it's true and it's important. Another important aspect is the experience that we have is local experience, experience in the court system in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Welcome back to Ringgold High School. We're just about ready for high school basketball. Captains and the officials with the head coaches going over the final instructions across the way. We'll have the introductions of the starting lineups by the PA announcer as well as the national anthem here momentarily. As we said, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs coming in seven and three in conference, trying to hold on to that second place position and potentially a home playoff game, depending on how the WPIAL sets up the seating. And Ringgold coming in four and six in conference, trying to catch Thomas Jefferson, who stands a half game ahead of them in fourth place in the section. Coach Hogger talking to him prior to the game, sees this as a very tough matchup the Ringgold Rams, a hungry squad and a young squad coming in trying to maintain their playoff existence. Mustangs handled the Rams up on their home court, but this is a total different setting here at Ringgold High School. Teams line up at their respective foul lines 
in anticipation of the national anthem. Here we go with the starting lineups once again by the public address announcer here at Ringgold Gym. A lot of history down here in the valley, Monongahela, home of Stan Usual from Denora, Joe Montana, Ringgold High School standout. The Griffies also from Ringgold. Bryce Lasky, the junior guard and leading scorer for the Mustangs, averaging just under 24 points a game. David Runko, the senior. David's come on very well here in the second half of the season, very strong from the foul line and also providing some added scoring punch for the Mustangs. Will Dykert, the senior, also very versatile and the go-to defender for the Mustangs. Hudson Novak and Elijah Gwynn. Those are your starters for the Mustangs. Coached by Rick Hogger and Jack Beaner. Chris Peek on, just a freshman. Played very well up at Laurel Highlands. Came on in the second half and really led the Rams in the second half. Ryan Varvley. Jake Mayer, number 25. Anthony Pampina. Leading score for Ringgold. And the big man inside, Dakota Browning, provides all kind of strength on the boards for the Ringgold Rams. Officials take their positions, and we're just about ready for high school basketball on the South Union Township Sports Network. Mustangs in their traveling blue uniforms, ring gold, the home whites will be going left to right to start the game, and the Mustangs right to left. Gwynn and Browning in the center circle. Tip controlled by the Mustangs. Runko will bring it ahead. Man-to-man -man defense for Ringgold as they come out here in the first quarter. Novak on the left wing. Finds Dykert across to Runko. Motion offense. Lasky thought about it. Got it to Gwynn. Baseline jumper off. 
Rebound pulled down by Pampina. Ringo trying to get out to a fast start. Swing it back out to Varvley. Browning at the foul line. Spin move. One hand hook. Count it. Dakota Browning puts the Rams on top. Lasky now directing traffic, being guarded by Pampina. Keep trying to get a screen. He'll take the three from downtown. Bryce Lasky just creates space there on the screen by Elijah Gwynn and buries the three. Man-to-man -man defense for the Mustangs also. Browning way out on top. Looks for Pecan curling around. Mayer on the left wing. Pecan baseline almost stolen away by Diker, but it's knocked out of bounds. Baseline inbounds for Ringgold. Pampina calling out the inbounds play. Pick across the lane and try to free someone us. Up finds Mayer in the corner. Browning again inside the lane. Same shot. Can he get the roll? No, but Pampina on the offensive board. Blocked by Hudson Novak from behind. Here comes Runko. Diker on the move to the hoop. Scoop. Got it. Will Diker for two. Mustangs out five to two now. Three on the way. No good there by Mayer. Runko on the rebound. He's going to be. Fouled on the rebound. I think that's going to be on Pecon, his first team first. Mustangs need to concentrate as they have over the second half of the season, limiting second chance opportunities. Lasky to Dykert on the left wing. Finds Novak on top. He'll take the long three. From downtown, Hudson Novak for three. Squares himself up nicely and he can hit from long range. Now Browning thought about the 18 footer. He'll take it to the hoop now, off glass, won't go. Rebound by the offense, put back, no, that was Mayer trying to put it in for Ringgold. Rebound, out come the Mustangs quickly. Novak squares up again from three point range. Not this time. 5.33 to go here in the first. Mustangs on top, eight to two. Pampina, good ball fake inside, off glass, and score it. Anthony Pampina, his first two. Quickly back come the Mustangs, inside to Gwynn, but guarded there by Browning. Novak, cross to Lasky, Pampina. Lasky puts it on the floor, goes to the hoop, switches hands in midair, goes with the right. Off glass for two, Bryce Lasky with five early points. Peek on, now out on top. Gets it across to Varvley. In the corner to Peek on, drives baseline to Pampina, short jumper, got it. Can't leave Pampina open like that, but the Mustangs, even on a made hoop, come back quickly, oh, it's a Novak to the hoop and scoring, beating the Ringgold Rams down the court after a made hoop. Coach Pergola won't be happy with that, but the Rams get it back to the hoop. No good, Novak with the rebound. Lost the handle momentarily. Back to Lasky, tried to feed it underneath to an open Elijah Gwynn on the left block, but tipped out of bounds back to the Mustangs. Lasky triggered into Novak, looking for a screen. Lasky curling inside the lane. He'll reset. Looks for the screen, long three on the way. Bryce Lasky with his second three. Give him eight already here in the first quarter. 4.02 to go, just halfway into the first. Pecan, that's off his knee. Out of bounds, back to the Mustangs. 15-6, Mustangs on top. Bronco and Lasky in the backcourt. No substitutions as of yet here in the first. One team foul against Ringgold, none against Laurel Highlands. Quinn comes out, thought about the screen. Now Novak, he's open on the baseline. Can't give him that one either. Hudson Novak 
Wide open jumper, quality opportunities for the Mustang so far here. Pampina has it knocked away by Dykert. On top now to Pecon. Pecon trying to work against Runka. He'll stop and take the three. Little strong off the board. Lasky with the rebound. With numbers again, quickly come the Mustangs, but Pecon picks his pocket on the back check. Tipped away now. Lasky will take the three. Steps in. Won't get it. Tracking it down though now. Let's see who has it. Runko will come away with it. Lasky goes baseline to Runko. Three-point range. No good. Diker trying to offensive rebound. Gets it to Gwynn, but Lasky ends up with it, and he'll score and foul. Three opportunities at the hoop that, down by the, that time by the Mustangs, ending in a garbage hoop by Bryce Lasky. He'll take that every time and gets the foul. Foul called. See who the foul is on. Try to pick up these. That's um, Barvley, I think, got the foul as Lasky completes the three-point play. Checking in is number 13, Seth Cooper, and he'll handle the ball on top. In the corner to Barvley. On top, stolen away by Dykert. Good anticipation. Now he has it knocked away and back to Ringold. Cooper to the hoop. Spin finds Browning, and it's going to be a travel. Cooper just drugged the pivot foot as he went to the left block. Had Browning coming down the middle for a possible lay-in, but was not to be. Jaden Taylor in for the Rams. Man-to-man -man defense again for Ringgold. Cooper now on Lasky. Little overmatched height-wise there. Lasky will take it to the hoop. Use the left, can't get it to go. Browning pulls down the rebound. Good opportunity on the baseline. Cooper will get it ahead quickly to Varvley. Back to Cooper. Now Browning takes to the hoop strong, and he's going to be fouled on his way in. Got hit in the head as the official signals to the... And I believe that's going to be on Bryce Lasky, his first... Team first. Not giving us the fouls on the scoreboard. We're gonna have to try to be careful on recognizing those fouls as Browning hits the first. Three points so far for Dakota Browning. 20 to seven, Mustangs out to the early. 13-point lead. Browning trying to cut into that as he does. Smooth from the line. Dakota Browning makes it 20-8. to eight. Novak swing it to Dykert. Coach Hogger calling for movement. Nice back cut. Almost out of bounds, but Runko for the three. Can't get it. Hudson Novak put back. Little strong and that's going to be knocked out of bounds. Stay with the Mustangs. So Laura Highlands getting a few second chance opportunities here in the first. Bryce Lasky once again will trigger it in. High pick and switch for the Mustangs. Runko looking for Bryce. He'll dribble and he's going to get chart called for the travel that time. Probably should have just squared up for the three, but he saw Lane down the baseline and Tried to take it to the hoop, but call for the turnover. Cooper across to Varvley. Now, Cooper being guarded there by Ronco, and that's going to be a double dribble call before the foul. Ronco made contact, but it had a double dribble call before the foul. David Runko, the senior guard for the Mustangs. Good cut there by Lasky. Novak to Lasky, 4-2. 11 points already for Brace off glass. No good for the Rams. Tracking it down as Lasky has a man open. Streaking to the hoop is Novak with the left. He'll score it. 
Hudson Novak with nine first quarter points. We're under a minute to go. It's 24 to eight. Mustangs here in the first. Inside to Browning. He'll work against Gwynn. Try to turn around. Good defense there by Gwynn. Pampina with the jumper for three. Anthony Pampina has seven. Under a minute. Novak looking for some room. Now had Dykert open, but just overshot him in the far right corner. And the first substitutions coming into the game for Laurel Highlands. Greg Lancaster and number 34, Ilyasa Saliutha Jr. Played most of the JV game, as did Greg. They'll see some early first quarter action with 30 seconds to go. On the bench, Runko and Gwynn. Saliutha with the steal. Using that height to his advantage there, just fronted Browning. Smart defense. Lancaster now being guarded by Pampina. Finds Dykert, left wing. Top now to Junior. Novak, the weave. Lasky step back three, just short, but long rebound to Novak. He'll drive baseline and score. Hudson Novak before the horn adds to the Mustang lead, 26 to 11. We'll be back with second quarter action. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network. Calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebley Mahalov and White can help. We're a full service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebley Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebley Mahalov and White. Good luck to the Mustangs from the South Union Township Supervisors, Rick Vernon, Jason Scott, and Robert Schiffbar. Welcome back to Ringgold High School. Laurel Highlands on top, 26 to 11. Bryce Lasky with 13 first quarter points. Hudson Novak with 11 first quarter points. Will Diker chipped in a deuce. That's your 26 for the Mustangs. For Ringgold, Anthony Pampina with seven. Dakota Browning with four. That's their 11. And that's out of bounds. I believe it's going to stay with Ringgold, and it does. Pampina will trigger it in, gets it to Browning. He'll try to back his way in, gets it on top to Varvley. Out to Cooper. Seth Cooper came in, coming in off the bench. Now Jaden Taylor also. Pampina trying to find some openings. Farvely on top to Cooper. A lot of clock. We're down to 7.29 here in the second. Long possession for Ringgold. Taylor with the baby hook for two. Lasky now to Lancaster. Lancaster being guarded by Pampina. Gets it to Novak. Switches places with Junior Saliutha. Underneath, good cut by Novak. And a move, he's fouled. Spin move underneath by Hudson Novak gave him some space, but the foul prevented him from scoring. That foul is going to be called on Jaden Taylor. That's his first, Jaden Taylor. Third team foul, Hudson Novak at the line. 4-2. Just a little strong on the first. into the game comes David Runko. He'll give Will Dykert a break and trying to check in also is Elijah Gwynn. I think he's going to take 
Hudson Novak spot if he's successful with this foul shot. And he is. 27-13, Mustangs on top by 14 here early in the second. So now for the Mustangs, you have Lancaster, Runko, Lasky, Gwynn, and Saliutha. Cooper, Pampina, Browning, Farvley, and Taylor for the Rams. Cooper getting away with a carry a little bit there, but guarded by Lancaster closely. Taylor trying to do it himself. Goes to the hoop, blocked there by Saliutha and Gwynn. Quickly ahead now, Mustangs had numbers. Hustling back now are the Rams, but Runko finds a lane and scores it. David Runko just creasing his way through the Ram defense on the right side, gets his first two. Junior Saliutha a little shaken up on the play down on the other end. He'll walk it off on the sidelines as Richie Mehal will check in. Twenty-nine, thirteen. Laurel Highlands on top into the game for Ringgold. Christian Egan, number twenty-two. He's in the corner. This is Pampina. He'll take the long three and get it. Way outside. Anthony Pampina, his second three, gives him ten. Lancaster to Lasky. He, they'll be trying to match each other. Lasky goes off glass for the two. Gets a step on Pampina, uses the glass to his advantage. Adds to his total 15 first half points. Pampina off balance, just could not get that one to go. Good defense provided by the Mustangs, made him adjust in midair. And no chance for that one to fall. Out of bounds to the Mustangs and they'll bring it ahead with 5.42 to go here in the second. Lasky. Mustangs into that mini weave. Lasky, left wing, stops at the foul line. Step back, jumper, couldn't get the roll that time. Pampina with the rebound. Egan, trying to push it ahead for the Rams. Down low, good pass. Browning will score. Good look that time by Mayer to Browning. Cuts the lead down to 31-18. Runko. Gwynn in the corner. He'll hit. Elijah Gwynn showing some range from 16 in the corner. Makes it 33 18. Peek on now will try for Ringgold. Gwynn controls the board. Lancaster looking ahead. Gets it to Runko. Right wing. He'll try the three. And a little strong that time. Pampina with another rebound. Egan. Knocked out of bounds, Lasky hands on Pampina as the Mustangs will send back in Hudson Novak and Will Dykert. Quality minutes provided by the bench for the Mustangs, Lancaster and Mehal. Egan to Pampina, now guarded by Lasky. This is Mayer, dropped to Egan. And Ringel goes into the weave. Corner, Egan guarded by Lasky. Now down low with the left, scoring. That time was Jake Mayer. But quickly back come the Mustangs and not able to finish that time was Hudson Novak and a breakout for Ringgold. But Will Dykert coming back, Lasky with the block. Good hustle back by Will Dykert and Bryce Lasky preventing the breakout lay-in for Taylor. On the other end, Hudson Novak had an opportunity for a complete breakout, but he was unable to finish, and Coach Hoggers wants to talk about it quickly. He calls a 30-second timeout, and we will take a 30-second timeout on the South Union Township Sports Network. It's Laurel Highlands 33, Ringgold 20. Right back after this.
We're back after the Mustang timeout. It's out of bounds underneath to Ringgold. Mustangs holding on to a 33 to 20 lead halfway through the second quarter. Pampina trying to find somebody close to a five second call. Egan now has it almost stolen by Novak. Couldn't control Browning with the lane down the middle. Count it. Will Dykert thought he might have fouled him out front, but the official's going to count it. So Dakota Browning with a chance at a three-point play. He has eight first-half points, and the lead is cut to 11. So just when you think the Mustangs are going to break it wide open, Ringgold makes a mini run here, and now only down by 11. Dykert thought about the three. In the corner to Gwynn, he'll take the shot again. No good, no rebounding on the weak side by the Mustangs. Pecan will bring it back. He'll stop and shoot. Can't hit Lasky with the rebound. Lasky ahead to Novak, beautiful pass. Bryce Lasky to Hudson Novak. Just right through the defense and it, now the Ringgold Rams cross the end line on the inbound pass. And that's a turnover back to the Mustangs. Lasky, easy inbounds to Gwynn. Possibly could have had a lay in, but thought better of it. Now, Diker was posting up, but could not receive the pass cleanly. And Ringo will come back. Browning from way out. The big man, Pampina. And Lasky tied up. That's going to be possession, Laurel Highlands. Good hustle there by Anthony Pampina, tying up Bryce in the backcourt. Bryce didn't feel him on his hip at that time. So the starters in for the Mustangs, Dykert, Lasky, Runko, Novak, and Gwynn. And it's Pampina, Farvley, Browning, Mayer, and Egan. For Ringgold, Lasky, Dykert. Mismatch here with Dykert on Egan. Novak will step into a three, got it. Hudson Novak adds another three, his second three of the first half. Pampina will try to answer. Runco with the rebound, slow things down slightly, but now he'll bring it ahead himself with the left, change his hands, and Dykert try to run it down, cannot. Good opportunity there for David Runco, just could not get it above the rim. And the Mustangs now holding on to a 38-22, 16-point advantage with 2.23 to go here in the second. Egan to Pampina, guarded there by Dykert. Corner, Egan, he'll look to find Pampina. Pampina and Browning providing the bulk of the scoring for Ringgold. Barvley goes baseline. He is going to be fouled on a block as the drive to the hoop was thwarted. And I believe that's on number three, David Runco. That's his first, team third. Barvley now trying to pierce his way through. Gets it across, just short that time was Mayer. Mayer, now Varvley with the steal. Finds Mayer in the corner. He'll take the three again off the mark. Pampina, though, on the putback. Can't get it to go. Another opportunity now for Ringgold underneath. Browning can't get it to go. Ball just popping all over the place, and now we get a foul called. That's going to be on Lasky, I believe. And if it is, that's going to be Bryce's second. I think they may have called it on Gwynn now. Let's, we'll check that one for you, but it's the fourth team foul. As Ringel will have the possession, neither team in the bonus. Lancaster strong on the rebound. Ahead to Novak. Lasky way out on top. We'll back it out and reset with a minute 23 to go here in the second. 
38-22, Mustangs on top. Dykert has it go through his hands. Runko will take the three. Can't hit. Diker can't rebound. Back comes Ringgold. Pampina will stop and pop. Won't get it, but Browning with the offensive rebound. Has it stripped away by David Runko. Good hands there by Runko. Thought about the three. Goes baseline. Drop it to Dykert. That was uh, out of bounds, inbounds. David Runko was out of bounds, and Coach Hogger's not happy with the ball movement right now. A lot of standing still by the Mustangs on the offensive side in the last two possessions. Ringo will come back with 44 seconds to go now here in the second. Browning, top of the key. Inside the mayor, I think he traveled. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Let's see who this one's on. No shot. Fouls on David Runko. I believe that's his second. Browning will get it on top. Egan, 30 seconds to go here in the period. Mayer gets it to Pampina. He'll look to create. Dykert with the defense on Pampina. Barvley. Thought about getting inside. Anticipation there by Novak. Spin move to the hoop. Short. Lasky with the rebound. Off glass, no good. Back comes Ringo. Lasky just took it right off Browning and scores. Bryce Lasky on the spot. Long three on the way. No good. That's going to do it for the first half. The Mustangs adding to the lead, making it 40 to 22. 18 point halftime advantage. We'll be back with halftime activities and statistics here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Gary Frankhauser along with Jerry Dupe. You don't have to travel to Pittsburgh to get good representation. We've been doing it since 1976. We've been successful. We can help you right here at home. We know the nuances of the, of the legal system in Uniontown in Fayette County. We know the nuances of the legal system in Waynesburg and in, 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 in Washington. We know the system. We know where the courthouse is and we know where to park. And at our office, you can park for free. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. 
where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Welcome back to Ringgold High School. It's halftime, and the Mustangs are on top, 40 to 22. It's the Hudson Novak and Bryce Lasky show here in the first half. Lasky with 17, courtesy of two triples, five two-pointers, and one for one from the line. Hudson Novak also with 17. He has two triples, four two-pointers, and one for two from the line for his 17. Logic Wynn chipped in two, and David Runko chipped in two. Will Dykert also had two for the Mustangs' total of 40. For the Ringgold Rams, Anthony Pampina with 10. He has two three-pointers and two two-pointers. Jake Mayer had a bucket, and Dakota Browning has eight. He has three two-pointers and two for three from the line. Jaden Taylor also has a bucket for Ringgold for their total of 22. Bryce Lasky one for one from the line. Hudson Novak one for two. So the Mustangs a total of two for three from the foul line for Ringgold. Dakota Browning two for two from the line for their only opportunities at the charity stripe. The Mustangs came out quick and built a lead early. Ringgold made a little bit of a run in the beginning of the second quarter cutting it down to 11 points, but the Mustangs turned, turned it back up after a 30-second timeout by Coach Hogger and rallied at the end of the quarter to now lead by 18. Our halftime score, Laurel Highlands 40, Ringgold 22. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network from Ringgold High School. We'll be back with second half action right after this. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Tell a tale of a fateful call. You better pay those bills right now or you take a mighty fall. He really didn't know what to do, so he turned to those who did. Zeppli, Mahalo, Ben White, your bankruptcy crew. Your bankruptcy crew. So no matter how deep in debt you are, if your back's against the wall, Zeppli, Mahalo, Ben White, just give them. Welcome back to Ringgold High School. We're just about ready for second half action. It will be Ringgold's possession coming out for the third quarter. Starters in for Laurel Highlands, Lasky, Novak, Gwynn, Dykert, and Runko for Ringgold. Number 15, Varvley. Number 22, Christian Egan will get the start. Inside, you have Jaden Taylor and... Jake Mayer, and Brown, um, let's see who the else, Pampina, 24. It's a little different look for Ringgold as they go into the speed weave. Pampina drives to the hoop, goes off glass, and starts the second half with a bucket, Anthony Pampina. So an aggressive offensive possession there for Ringgold, ends up with a bucket. And makes it 40 to 24. Man to man defense for Ringgold. Lasky and Pampina going back and forth. This is Novak. He has it knocked away. Coming back is Mayer. He'll try to go to the hoop with the left. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Put back won't go. Now Varvley 
I'm sorry, Mayer with the putback. So four quick points for Ringgold. Makes it a 14-point game, and we have a push foul underneath as Runko crossed the lane. Foul's going to be called on Christian Egan, his first team foul number one in the second half. So Mustangs need to strike the ship here early as Ringgold came out hot. Lasky can't hit. Pampina with the rebound. Here comes Ringgold again with an opportunity to cut into the lead once more, and it's a three-pointer by Jaden Taylor. Now we're down to 11, and Coach Hogger calls timeout. Not the way the Mustangs wanted to come out to start the third. It's now 40 to 29, seven point run by Ringgold. And we'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Here we go as Coach Hogger try to settle things down here. Just a minute 12 into the third and it has been a straight seven point run by the Ringgold Rams. Lasky for three, too strong. Back again comes Ringgold with a breakout. They have numbers. Mayer thought about it. Now he goes baseline and he is fouled. So Jake Mayer will go to the line. That foul's on Bryce Lasky. I believe that's his second as Jake Mayer will go to the line, try to make the lead just single digits as he hits the first, 40 to 30. Little clean up on the court by the officials. Second one for Mayer. And he hits. Down to nine. Mustangs yet to score here in the third. Almost two minutes in. Full court pressure now by Ringgold as Novak will get it across to Lasky. To Runko. He'll go baseline and he's going to be fouled by Egan. That's going to be his second and second team foul of the half against Ringgold. No quality opportunities for Laurel Highlands. Give credit to Ringgold come out, coming out aggressively in the third. Lasky three-pointer won't open the lid for the Mustangs in the fourth, but Novak will get a shot. He can't get it to go. Now we have a foul going the other way. What do we got? If that's on Bryce, that's his third. It is. Third foul now on Bryce Lasky. And it's a nine point game as the Mustangs have a lid on the hoop here in the third. Taylor, that's Mayer. Favry into Pampina, he'll score. Pampina adds to the run. Makes it just seven point, a seven point lead. Was 18 at the halftime, down to seven. 11 point run. Novak thought about the baseline drive, now goes in, banks it in. So Hudson Novak gets things going for the Mustangs here in the third. Now it's a travel. And that is called by the trail official. Farvely just could not maintain his feet in the right direction. Dykert, now Novak. Back to Dykert. 
Nice pressure defense provided by Ringgold. Novak squares up. That was off to the right. Could see that one from where we were standing. Lasky now. Go to the hoop. Contact, no call. Diker tries to pull it down, but Pampina comes out of the pack. Gives it to Egan. Down the middle. Mayer in the corner. Lost the handle. Pampina swing it all the way around. Taylor to the hoop. He's fouled. If that's David Runko, I believe that's his third. It is. That's three fouls on David Runko. And that's going to send Jaden Taylor to the line, shooting two. In and out for Taylor as Greg Lancaster will check in for Runko. And Browning on the court now for Ringgold. Taylor. Second one, good. It's an eight point game, 42 to 34, 4.50 to go here in the third. Mustang still on top, but tenuously now at just eight points as Lasky comes ahead against Pampina. Gives the Quinn. Pass and cut for the Mustangs. Dykert finds Novak. Squeezes his way in. Dykert for three. Got it. Will Dykert clutch three-pointer there just when the Mustangs needed some life. Now makes it 45-34. Checking in for Ringgold, Tyrese Adams, number 21. He's on top now, Pampina. Mustangs drop into a 2-3 zone. This time down, trying to limit the fouls and the inside game as Novak will get it ahead to Lasky. Just behind him, he could not handle it. Novak will drop Back now on defense, Browning across to Pampina, ball fake. Shot up, good. Pampina with six in the second half, 16 overall. Missed opportunity for the Mustangs last time as the pass from Novak to Lasky was no good, but Novak finds an opening on the baseline this time. He has four in the second half, give him 21 for the evening. Taylor in the corner. Egan on top to Pampina. Taylor will try the three. Way off. But rebound pulled out of there by Egan. There's the travel. Adams, one too many steps before the move. The Mustangs with the turnover and an opportunity to add to an 11 point 47 36 lead. Three minutes to go here in the third. Novak all the way across to Lasky. He'll stop and shoot. Got it. Bryce Lasky gets on the board in the second half for the first time, make, making him with 19 for the game. Backside pass to Pampina. Wow. A lot of contact there, but the block is charged to Will Dykert. His first team fourth. Checking back in will be Jake Mayer for Adams. Browning trying to set up inside, could not find a position. Egan across to Mayer. Now Egan drops it to Taylor in the corner to Mayer. Now Browning finds his way to the hoop and he'll score. Nice spin move there on the block by Browning. Once he receives it down there, it's going to be tough for the Mustangs to stop him that far on the block. Lancaster now has a foul called against him. That's Egan's third. Team foul number three. All on Egan here in the second half. Seth Cooper will check in for Egan. Egan. 
Lancaster gets the inbounds to Novak. Dykert on the block, spins all the way out. Novak, now Lasky. Gets a high screen from Dykert. Nothing happened. It's going to be a foul called on Pampina as he grabbed Dykert on the screen. And Pampina will pick up his first foul. That's a fourth team foul on Ringgold as the Mustangs will have the out-of-bounds play. Blasky gets the screen from Gwynn. Now he'll go to the hoop, try to cover. It's a travel. Looked like somebody knocked the ball out of Bryce's hands, but travel called. Lead remains 11, 49, 38. Two minutes to go here in the third. Ringgold with the run here in the third. Came out at halftime, trailing by 18. Now down by only 11. As Pampina will go to the baseline, drop pass and a foul called on Hudson Novak as he knocked the ball away from Browning. But the official saw the chop across the arm. So that will send Dakota Browning to the line. Two for three in the first half from the line. He has 10 so far here this evening. Browning, smooth from the line for a big man. It's the first, it's back to a 10 point game. Second one is good also. Lead down to nine with a minute 38 to go here in the third. Lancaster hands to Dykert, cross to Lasky. Good ball fake on Pampina, finds Novak on the baseline, and that's going to be out of bounds as the Rams kind of ran into each other underneath the hoop. That was Taylor and Pampina knocked it out of bounds. Luckily for the Mustangs, and it looks like Gwynn may have a problem across the way. Not putting weight on that ankle. And that's going to bring in Iliasa Saliutha to replace Gwynn. As he tries to shake that off as Dykert will find Lasky. Lasky with the screen. Three on the way. No good. Cooper with the rebound now for the Rams. Opportunity to cut it even closer. All the way out on top to Pampina, to Mayer. Inside to Pampina, blocked by Saliutha, but a foul called. And that's going to send Pampina to the line with his first opportunity. Pampina with 16 points, with a minute three to go here in the third. Got to believe Pampina is strong at the line as he hits the first. Just an eight point lead now for the Mustangs. Second one good again. Lasky. Trying to right the ship now for the Mustangs. Under a minute here in the third. Dykert thought about it. Goes to the hoop with the right. Won't go. Rebound once again to Ringgold. 45 seconds to go in the quarter. They can cut it even closer. 2-3 zone now for the Mustangs. Cooper to Taylor. Mayer in the corner. Had Taylor cutting through. Opportunity to get it to him. Did not make the pass. Now Mayer goes baseline. Pass to Browning. He is hit, and that's going to be a foul called. And I believe that's going to be a one-and-one one already for Ringgold as a foul called, I believe, on Saliutha. And it is one-and-one. One. It's going to send Browning to the line.
They called it on Dykert, not Saliutha. So that's Dykert's second. Browning at the line. Strong so far, but misses the front end of the one and one. Ball was halfway down in the rim, just 18 seconds to go here in the quarter. Mustang lead down to seven. 10. Lasky will try to do it himself and has it knocked away. Browning, pass ahead, four, three. Cooper to Taylor, won't go. That'll do it for the third. So luckily for the Mustangs, Ringgold unable to finish on the other end. And the Mustangs will keep a 49 to 42 lead at the end of the third quarter. The Mustangs scoring just nine points to the Ringgold's 20 in the third. And we'll be back with the exciting fourth quarter right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're gonna be faced with numerous questions concerning who's gonna pay your medical bills, your property damage, the wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice.
We're back at the Ringgold Rams Gymnasium. Ringgold with a strong 20 to nine run in the third quarter, cuts the lead from 18 to seven. 49-42 as we start the fourth. Dykert gets it to Lasky. Novak now switches hands, goes to the hoop, off the glass, got it, Hudson Novak athletically to the hoop. Scores first for the Mustangs here in the fourth. Cooper pounds it between the circles. Taylor, corner to Mayer, thought about the three. Back to Browning, one-on-one -on -one with Sally Utha. It's going to be a hold, and that's going to be one and one. Send Browning to the line. It's going to be one and one the entire fourth quarter for Ringgold. That is the second now on Saliutha. Eighth team foul. Just two more, and it'll be double bonus for Ringgold. Browning hits the first. 51-43, 7.25 to go. Second one, good. Back to a seven point game. Runko to Lasky. Goes baseline, finds Novak, easy. Habaka can't get it to go, gets his own rebound. Can't get it to go. Ringo comes out with it. Two easy shots missed there by Laurel Highlands. And now Cooper again, looks like a carry, but no call. Seven point game. They're gonna go to Browning every time if they can. And he'll get the roll. Dakota Browning. Eight points in the second half, give him 16. It's a five point ball game. Dykert inside, that's gonna be a foul on Pampina as De Hudson Novak was posting up. That's gonna be the second on Pampina, just a fifth team foul on Ringgold. Two fouls to give. Mustangs looking for a run. And very erratic here in the second half as Novak goes baseline, gets contact, and that's gonna be on Browning. Just his first foul. And that's the six-team foul. So once again, the Mustangs will take it out of bounds on the baseline. Good drive there by Novak. Did not intend to shoot. Novak, step back three. Got it. Hudson Novak carrying the squad here in the third and fourth quarter. Makes it now 54-46. Clutch three-pointer. Mayer to Taylor. Inside to Browning. They're going to give it to him every time, and I be, he did travel that time. Ringgold's going to call a timeout. They're going to take a 30-second timeout with 6.11 to go. It's Laurel Highlands 54, Ringgold 46. We'll be back right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. We're back, and it will be the Mustangs ball after the travel call, now leading 54-46. We have Lasky, Runko, Dykert, Saliutha, and Novak. Not sure the status of Elijah Gwynn went out of the game with an apparent ankle injury. He's still on the Mustang bench. Novak and Lasky 
Working inside, and that's Sally Utha cannot catch the in, in to the post pass. And back comes Ringgold. Mayer thought about the three again. Good rush out defense that time by Novak as the Mustangs go back to man to man. Trying to work on some turnovers here as clearly Ringgold wants to get it inside. And that's Taylor scoring. Jaden Taylor. 54-48. We're at the 5-14 mark. Saliutha to Novak. Inside, Junior. Got it, Junior. Saliutha, key bucket at the five minute mark. Makes it 56 to 48. Got it down low and he took advantage. Cooper, and he's gonna be fouled. I believe that's Lasky and that will be his fourth. Couldn't avoid the contact and that's gonna be two shot foul as Seth Cooper will get an opportunity at the line. Cooper hits the first. 56-49, substitution for Ringgold. Brian Varvley will replace Jake Mayer. Seth Cooper's second opportunity at the line. Will be strong, and that's gonna be a foul called as he over the line, it is a violation. And that's gonna be back to the Mustangs. 56-49, Mustangs on top by seven. 18 point halftime lead, now down to seven. Runko will find Dykert. Mustangs around the corner. Lasky way out on top to Runko. He has it stolen now by Taylor. Mustangs not strong with the ball on that possession, Browning Way out on top, gets it to Varvley. Now Cooper. Varvley wants to get it to Browning. He wants to go one-on-one. -on -one. Varvley now with the screen. Taylor, he's in the lane. Cooper. Patient offense this time by the Ringgold Rams as Browning will try to take it himself. Can't get it to go. Novak with numbers, comes out. Gets it to Dykert, left hand, good, nice pass. Novak with the assist to Dykert, makes it 58-49. Cooper now trying to work on Runko, and that's gonna be an offensive foul, and it is. As Cooper heads to the hoop, Saliutha takes the charge. Nice defensive position there by Junior, and that's a turnover back to the Mustangs. And substitutions into the game for Ringgold as Egan checks back in. Mayer checks back in. Cooper and Taylor will check out. It doesn't look like Gwynn is going to be coming back in for the Mustangs. He just kind of not able to shake off that ankle injury. The Mustangs will... Stick with Dykert, Runko, Lasky, Novak, and Saliutha. Lasky gets the pass across court. Bounce pass to Runko in the middle to Dykert. Novak all the way across to Lasky. He'll take the three. In and out. Good rebound there by Novak. Dykert. Call from the opposite side. Good catch. Foul call by the uh, opposite official as Dykert went to the hoop and he was pounded on the rebound. No call on the baseline, but good catch by the center official on the other side will send Dykert to the line. And Will can't hit the first. All important foul shots for the Mustangs as Coach Hogger goes defense, takes Lasky out with those four fouls. Still 3.28 to go. Will 
Hits the second. Important foul shot there, makes it 59-49. Pampina guarded by Dykert in the corner to Mayer. Switching defense now. Saliutha on Browning. They're going to look to post him up, no doubt. Pampina one-on-one -on -one with Novak. Kick it to Mayer. Out to Egan. He traveled. And Lasky will check back in on the offensive side as Coach Auger will go defense offense with Bryce Lasky. We're down to 3.04 to go. Mustangs trying to hold on. Runko in the corner to Dykert. Inside to Saliutha. Can't get it to go. Tip by Novak. Got it again. He'll swing it all the way out to Lasky. And Bryce will use clock. Novak thought about the three. Goes baseline. And he'll get it again. We're under 2.35 to go. Ten point lead for the Mustangs. One one and one for the Mustangs on any foul, and any foul caused by the Mustangs will be a two-shot foul in favor of Ringgold. Possession arrow is in favor of Ringgold. Each team with plenty of timeouts. Runko now will be fouled on top by Varvley and send David to the line with 2.15 to go and a 10-point lead. Runko with two points on the evening, his first opportunity at the line with 2.15 to go. First one up, got the roll. Shooter's touch there by David Runko, used all the iron, but it fell through. Gives the Mustangs an 11-point, 60 to 49 lead. Second one, nothing but nylon. comes Ringgold now with 2.10 to go on a running clock. This is Pampina. He'll look to score. Three-pointer on the way. Got it! And a foul! Wow! Anthony Pampina hits the three. Fouled by Runko. I believe that's his fourth. And that's going to send Pampina to the line looking to cut the lead to eight. Pampina with 11 second half points, give him 21. Opportunity to add to that 21 point effort. Rolls it in. Cooper will replace Egan. Ringo will stay with the full court pressure defense. It's 1-3-1 one, one with Pampina on the point. Lasky to Runko. Runko looking for help. Gets it to Lasky. Need to get it across the timeline. They do. Inside pass. Lasky to Dykert. 4-2. Makes it a 10-point game again with 1.46 to go now. Favry finds Cooper. Ringgold needs to score quickly. They can't, using this much clock, as Browning will just power his way in and score. Two points for Dakota Browning. Makes it 63-55. to Ringgold calls timeout at 1.34 to go here in the fourth. And that'll give us a chance to step aside on the South Union Township Sports Network. Gary Frankhauser, along with Jerry Dupay, will be right back.
Mustangs out of the timeout with the possession in an eight point lead. Minute 31 to go. Mustangs can run the clock out if they choose, go to the line as many times as they need to. Novak can hold. Down to a minute 18 now, and there's a foul call by the outside official on Christian Egan. That's his fourth, and that's going to send Hudson Novak to the line in the double bonus, two shots. Mustangs will need to be strong at the line coming down the stretch here. Hudson Novak short. Eight point ball game. Minute 17 to go. Hudson hits the second. Egan will come ahead slowly. Almost stolen away. Mayer to the hoop. That's going to be a blocking foul called on Saliutha. That's going to be his third. And it's a two-shot foul. And going to the line will be Jake Mayer. Already two for two. We still have a minute nine to go. It's a nine-point advantage for the Mustangs. Ringgold strong from the line. Only have missed three foul shots here this evening. And there's one that's off. Record, rebound by Lasky. He'll be fouled. So Pampino will put Lasky at the line and they're gonna be making the Mustangs shoot foul shots to the rest of the way. Just took six seconds off the clock there. Down to a minute two, 64-56, Bryce Lasky. Excellent foul shooter for the Mustangs. He'll hit the first. Two for two at the line for Bryce. Just three points in the second half. He has 20, but 17 in the first half. Mustang offense, little out of kilter in the second half, but they're still holding on to a 10-point lead. 66-56, we're under a minute. Clock ticking down at 55 seconds. And Ringgold using a lot of clock on this possession. And there's a turnover back to the Mustangs with 47 seconds to go. So once again, the Mustangs will certainly hold until they are fouled. And they want the ball in the hands of Runko or Lasky and Novak also. That's going to be a foul call there on Mayer. Reach in on Hudson Novak. And Hudson will be back at the line for two more. Just took one second off the clock there. Hudson strong on the first. Taylor into the lineup for Ringgold. 46 seconds now on the game clock. Mustangs trying to hold on as Novak hits the second. Makes it 11 point game. Farvely to Browning. He'll try to go one on one, gets it in the, to Taylor. They need to shoot. He launches a high three, and that's going to be out of bounds to Laurel Highlands. Ball was simultaneously held there by Varvley and Dykert, but Varvley was out of bounds, so it's going to go back to the Mustangs with 34 seconds and an 11-point lead. Let's see if Ringgold will continue to foul. Runko doesn't look like they're going to foul. Runko to Lasky. 24 seconds. Looks like possibly Ringgold's going to let this run out with 16 seconds to go. The Mustangs up by 11, 67-56, and Bryce Lasky will dribble it out. Eight seconds, seven seconds, 
That's going to do it. Game effort by the Ringgold Rams here in the second half. As the horn sounds, our final score, Laurel Highland 67, Ringgold 56. We'll be back with post-game activities and the statistics right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're going to be faced with numerous questions concerning who's going to pay your medical bills, your property damage, wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Welcome back to Ringgold High School. Gary Frankhauser along with Jerry Dupay. Your post-game activities, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs get the win, making them 8-3 in conference, 16-5 overall. Ringgold falls to 4-7 in conference, 9-12 overall. It wasn't easy for the Mustangs, although it appeared to be at halftime with a lead of 40-22, but the Ringgold Rams outscoring the Mustangs 20 to nine in the third quarter, cut the lead to 49 to 42. So, but, but the Mustangs stayed strong in the fourth to pull out the 11 point 67 to 56 victory. Scoring for the Ringgold Rams, Anthony Pampina leading the Ringgold Rams with 22 points. He had three three pointers and was three for three from the line. Jake Mayer had seven. He was three for four from the line and three two-pointers. Dakota Browning, strong performance with 18 points and six for eight from the charity stripe. Jaden Taylor came off the bench for eight. He was one for two from the line. And Seth Cooper was one for two from the line for his one point. Score by quarter for Ringgold, 11 in the first, 11 in the second, 20 in the third and 14 in the fourth quarter. For the Mustangs, scoring Bryce Lasky with 21 points, 17 in the first half, and four in the second half. He was three for three from the line. David Runko, four points, all important, two for two from the line late for David. Will Dykert with double figures with 10. He had a triple and three two-point buckets, one for two from the line for his 10. Elijah Gwynn with two points before he went out with a lower body injury that did not allow him to return to the game in the second half. Iliasa Saliutha came on to play strong defensively in a key bucket, giving him two points and leading the way for the Mustangs tonight. Hudson Novak, 28 points, 17 in the first half, 11 in the second half, Three for six from the line. Hudson had three three-pointers and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight two-pointers for his 28 points to lead the Mustangs. So the Mustangs come away with the victory and maintain their position in second place in Section 1-5A, trying to improve on their seating. They will be playing Albert Gallatin on Friday. It will be senior night at home for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. So tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring all of the township supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and everyone at CUTV, including Gary Smith and his staff. This has been Gary Frankhauser, along with Jerry DuPay, another South Union Township Sports Network presentation. Our final once again, Laurel Highland 67, Ringgold 56. Good night, everyone.